So just to to um, um, to start with, um, we'll introduce um, the producers uh, on the panel. Um, and to my left, we've got Helen Helen Howes from Ho Ho Entertainment. And um, this cheerful character behind the lectern, that's um, <laughs> Ho Ho's creation, uh, Shane the Chef. Uh, so this is the example of um, the production money working out for uh, for Ho Ho. It was um, half a million euros um, uh, received from uh, from TV programming scheme that you would have just heard about. Um, and you had previous experience of using the media program before Creative Europe. Yes, as well. we did. Um, on our first production as Ho Ho, we we also were um, very lucky to get a grant from uh, Creative Europe, which was formerly, I think, um, media. media. Yep. Um, not on the first attempt, I have to say, mm -hmm. but on the second attempt when we um, when we had more letters, first of all, and we had more commitment. Um, but we did get it on the second attempt, and it did indeed help, you know, in the production process for us. So that's lovely. Yeah. Yes, thank you. And then next to Helen is uh, Charlotte Wandsworth from uh, Arthur Cox. And that's an example of the development funding scheme working for a animation feature film, which is a genuine co-production. Um, yes, it's a co-production with Poland, um, so that's really exciting. Uh, the project is called Yasha, um, and it's the story of a little girl surviving World War II in Poland as an orphan, which sounds bleak, but it does get better. It's brilliant. <laughs> Lovely, thank you. And finally, Erika uh, Darby from Spider Eye. Um, and this is a very interesting, very, um, I, I, I like that example. So there was an uh, attempt which was unsuccessful for sort of entry level, easier scheme of single project. And then. And uh, then we missed by <laughs> one point. We were beaten by Arthur Cox. <laughs> So, yeah, we kind of advised to, to reapply, but um, we went for the Slate funding. So we took that project, it was a single project that we, we failed to get, um, and then that became part of the Slate of five. Um, so it was kind of six months later, I've forgotten the actual dates, but um, it was a lot, a lot of work, but it's, you know, it's fantastic. So we're really excited about getting started on development. Lovely. So you see, we have a, quite a range of, of, of um, how, how this funding, uh, Creative Europe funding, can, can help. It's, it could be either a single one project that you identify as suitable for our funding, uh, given the criteria, uh, or it can be a project which is further down the line and is now sort of completing its financing. You have 50% of the money already in place. It looks international. We'll be happy to pick up the, the sort of close the budget really or or um, or it is a, a whole slate of projects um, that uh, needs developing it could be a co-production or not but the project has to be uh, aiming for the international market so that that's more or less where we are but I think to just sort of break the ice maybe you could just tell us a bit more about your businesses that um, why did you think that this is the funding for you because of what you actually do so maybe starting with with slate because you needed to see that you have not just one but several projects that will be fitting well this funding source yeah so we're so we're um as a business we um we create our own ip and we try and develop that and take it to market at our own expense and also do service work and of course because the service work then becomes the thing that pays the rent the development goes to the back or the gaps and and it's very hard to then find the time to give it the actual the, the energy should be in those projects should be in the development projects you know and the service projects if any, any clients are here but you know obviously the thing you want to be doing is your own stuff and so it's really hard to do that without any without any money and you know the time that the money creates basically is what you need so um, and in the UK, obviously, we're, we're quite impoverished development funding-wise. I think this is the only thing that's accessible to us. So um, it's, it's, you know, it's vital to us to do it. I mean, and I was thinking what's happening now is for our plan for this fund, you know, we, we, some of them we want to create a pilot for a certain point in time, like, say, Kids Screen for one of them. And what normally happens is you think, well, I'll create a pilot for Kids Screen, and then three weeks before Kids Screen, you think... Oh, I better start doing that pilot, you know. So uh, this gives us the chance to 
not only have the kind of luxury of, um, you know, spending the time and money, but also the bit I hadn't thought of was to make a plan that you then have to stick to, <laughs> you know. And so you have to, you've found the time and the money and you've actually got someone to report to. So, you know, effectively it becomes your your guide as well. So it's, it's fantastic because for us, we're, you know, we're always on two or three commercial projects. So it's, it's managing to fit that in around all the other jobs. And you're obviously aiming for audiences broader than UK audiences. Absolutely, yes, with everything, yeah. So, so for ours, there, there's four series and one feature. We've, I mean, we've done, a, you know, part of a feature for somebody else before, but part of it for me is learning how to finance features. Um, but for the series, yeah, we're kind of um, one of them was already had three or four broadcaster commitments down to uh, the the smallest one or the least developed one had had nothing at all and really needed a lot more development so there's kind of a, a a wide range of where they are in terms of where they need to be and but yeah for all of them we're looking at the international market absolutely lovely thank you and charlotte um how did it come about your cooperation with poland <laughs> Um, so basically, the director for Yasha is a Polish lady called Magdalena Osinska. Um, and I think she approached Sarah a couple of years ago with this story, which is actually a, a true story um, of her grandma, so it's very personal. Um, they kind of written it into a very rough script, and you know, they showed it to a few people, and there was a lot of interest. But just to echo what Erica's saying, really, we didn't have the time or money to dedicate to it to, to make it what it should be. Um, so Sarah decided uh, last year to take it to Cartoon Movie just to kind of see what, you know, who was out there and, you know, any tangible people were interested in being involved. Um, and um, we struck, a, struck up a relationship with Platige. Um, so that's kind of how the kind of co-production started. <laughs> Okay. So, so yes, the, you see the sort of the, the the itinerary that what we were trying to convince you to do in the previous panel is go out there and meet people and things will happen. Yeah, I think it's crucial to get out there and see who's out there and build these relationships. If you go through the elig the criteria for points, you know, it's one of the big ones. So that's a definite you know box to tick. Yeah. And how how is Shane doing? How, because. That's We're nearly further there. exactly. <laughs> so tell us, tell us about um, the process. I think I think what's interesting is to go back to the beginning and when we first uh, pitched what was Jeff the Chef um, <laughs> five years ago, t uh, 2011, we pitched at a cartoon forum. So that was the first time that we pitched the show, and at that time it was actually a stop frame animation show. That was the plan. Um, as I said, I don't want to dishearten people in the room, but it just goes to show, you know, it's a long process. It's a very long process to get the right people on board. And the first thing, of course, is getting your, you know, your commissioning broadcast partner. Because without that, you can't go out and find the funding. You need to know who you're making the show for. You can't make the show as a vanity project. It has to be, you know, for, um, for a specific audience. And so, you know, it took us quite a long time to get that broadcast partner on board, which we did. Um, then the challenge of reducing budgets. So, you know, one of the things that Creative Media Grant has done for us, most certainly, has helped us plug the gap in the funding that, you know, we should have been getting from a UK broadcast partner. Uh, and I say that very clearly because the other day I also attended the Save Kids Content event, you know, and, and I think it's, it's incredible to see that <coughs> since 2003, I believe, you know, the amount of money spent in this in this arena of kids TV has halved, you know. So it, it's a challenging, it's very, very challenging for all of us, but we are nearly there. Um, we had been trying to secure funding from another investment source, which is um, a commercial fund, um, which unfortunately hasn't come about. And, and the reason for that is that they see uh, animation and kids in particular as risk as risky. Because, you know, and then Lindsay mentioned this earlier on, it, it's because of the length of time that it takes, you know, when you're talking about 18-month production before you're even able to start selling the show properly with episodes of show. And so, it, you know, I think this is the issue, really, and I think what would be interesting is if some of these funds at least allocate some of that money 
specifically for kids and animation so that you know they know that there's a longer tail they know that it's going to be a longer recruitment um, and I think that's where the issues come in in terms of um, you know conflict of interest with some of these funds as well so so yeah that was a, a huge disappointment for us um, but uh, undeterred we're plodding on and the most recent uh, interesting thing for us has been uh, looking at potential sponsorship funding through a very big supermarket, yeah. which kind of makes sense because of the nature of, of what the show is about. Yeah, yeah. This is a very interesting um, and a very big topic, and I'm sure Yolanda has lots of insights on this, that um, when this scheme was set up, the TV programming, it was meant to improve actually distribution. We, we were finding a way how to improve circulation of TV programs. And somehow the producer ended up with the money, but also with the responsibility <laughs> to attract as many broadcasters so that one program is made, but for, sever for exploitation in several markets. So the scheme over, what, 20, over 20 years has always been relying on pre-sales and on a you know, more buoyant pre-sales market that used to be. And these days, obviously, it's, it's not, it's not a um, UK-specific problem. I think it's everywhere that broadcasters just um, don't come up with so much money and we need to find uh, alternative Well, they don't give up with the pre-sales. Uh, I mean, I can, I can name two very large territories and two very large broadcasters who will not commit to a pre-sale or a letter of commitment until they see a complete episode. I would always say for anybody that, that, that's looking to find these broadcast partners, it would be worthwhile partnering with the distributor you know, to help you do this. And we've done this for other partners as well. So we've done this for other projects that have come to the table for us. Um, and that is absolutely key. Yeah, we encourage that. There's, again, there's points. So if you're not so inclined yourself... <laughs> <laughs> you will be, you will be actually incentivized to get in touch with the with the distributors by by actually scoring more points on that. Lovely, thank you. We'll go into um, earlier stages now, uh, into development um, process, and here I think you've seen from the stats that Francesca's presented that this is a bit harder. The the, the scheme is like more widely open. Uh, it attracts a, a higher amount of applications quite early on because with TV programming, the only people who can come to us are those who already have half of the budget in place. So that's, that, that explains the higher success rates because the pool of uh, projects at that stage and of, of a particular kind is just smaller. But in development, it's quite harsh. So the risk is really high that actually the application won't be successful. And therefore, a question which is slightly different to either of you is, when is that golden time to go for media money? Because we know that it's, you, you cannot just come with like half of A4 when it's too soon for the experts to have any views about the project. On the other hand, it's development. So you, neither do you want to come with perfectly formed, fully developed uh, piece. And in Slate, there's also a complexity of <coughs> dynamic within the Slate. There could be projects earlier on and further down. So if you could, from your experience, give us a bit more detail about when, when did you go for it and whether, well, obviously it was the right time. Because yeah. <laughs> so yes, please. Um, I think it was at, at Cartoon Movie, because for Cartoon Movie, we had to put together, you know, a trailer. Um, and it was so beautiful. And to this day, I just think it's, you know, one of the loveliest bits of work on our website. Um, and then that kind of, um, you know, boosted us. And the reception that we got from that kind of, kind of sealed that this is what we should be doing. Um, so, and going on from that now, we've actually got a first draft of a script which is brilliant, um, and we're just kind of working through that. But it does, you know, it does take a while to get the ball rolling and to make that little trailer for Cartoon Movie. Magda, thank Ardman very kindly lent us some space, but she locked herself away in there with a friend and did it all, you know, not paid or anything. It was completely off her own back. So, so the trailer was already part of your application? 
Uh, yes, yeah. It was. Yeah. It, it's not compulsory. I have no, to just no, 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 not <laughs> at all. No. Because the development grant is also, in some cases, uh, supposed to help you f exactly yes. produce a trailer. But uh, obviously that was a successful strategy. In that yeah, case. definitely. And we had it because of cartoon movies. So that, you know, having such a positive reception kind of, you know, sealed that we should move forward. So in your sort of package was that we've already tested the project in international waters. Absolutely, the, yes. Yeah. And this is what it looks like. Yeah. And then you said, and now we need what? We need to kind of get the story down and get you know, a solid script in place because when people are interested, they'll say, oh yeah, that's great. Tell us more when we've got a script. So that was kind of the next key stage for us to get to. And that is what the development money is kind of helping us do. Brilliant. Great news. And then on a slate application, how do we? There's only one window, one deadline a year. That's yeah. That's an extra limitation there. How how do we? I know? think it's part of um, it's the same thing, but kind of on a staggered basis. So it's picking our first project, our most developed project, had been at Cartoon Forum the year before. We already had CBBS. We already had two other broadcaster commitments. Um, so it was like a strong thing to put at the front. You know, and then we have to schedule all the other projects that are, are you know, our, our least developed project had really not, we haven't locked the visuals yet. We're still kind of workshopping the concept because, you know, this is another thing. We have the, the luxury to kind of really spend the time getting the concept right, where normally we'd just be sitting in a room ourselves and perhaps not taking that time out to get a few more writers in the room and create that time. Um, but to schedule out the development on all five projects so that they're not all happening at the same time, so that each one gets its time. And that's part of the plan, that's part of a, a strong plan to do to plan over the whole thing. And of course, uh, you know, as Francesca said, it's not necessarily going to happen like that, but um, we had, really importantly for me, we had a consultant help us with this application, which was Justine Bannister. And, you know, one of the things she kept saying to me was, well, I've got a list of things she kept <laughs> saying to me, but, um, you know, w was, you know, about this kind of... Um, uh, you know, making your ideal plan because I kept saying, "Well, we don't know. How do we know? We don't know. We've got nothing." You know, some of these projects we have, we have no commitment. We haven't. We've only shown it at one market, but that's something that we continually do: is go to at least four or five markets a year, keep meeting people, keep getting a little bit of early feedback, and we keep getting that thing of like, "Can we have some scripts? Can we have?" Can we have an episode? Can we have three episodes? Can we have this? <laughs> so you know, and and before they'll make a commitment, it's really hard, but we can do this development alongside that, you know, alongside going to those markets and showing a little bit more and a little bit more and getting that feedback and deciding whether to respond to that feedback, you know, and, and what to take on board. But, you know, just kind of uh, planning it into the, to the application, I think. And it's been a great process in terms of, uh, you know, organising us in our development, you know. That's, that's for a reason, right? It's obviously not an accident. <laughs> I didn't mean you to sound surprised, may, but it's so good. May, you may still remember from the opening remarks that our job is to strengthen the animation industry. And that goes a little bit with that self-discipline that um, um, that is the whole purpose. That uh, we really are, that the programme is trying to um, make producers more focused and more um, um, strategic about developing their both projects and businesses and I think it's almost like between those two schemes that's the the, the stress uh, with single project is on that one baby you've got to deliver um, however on slate funding application it's more rather about building blocks to your overall business strategy and at the end of the journey you should be somewhere bigger and stronger um, so a, t a, a tough kind of real question on the slate. Did you promise in your application? Was there a, was there a financing from partners from abroad? W were the partners identified that in your strategies you were you were saying how how sort of real and um, kind of committed was that? It, it's as real as it can be because I think that's the problem. Until you're one hundred percent financed, you haven't got anything at all, really, have you? So, I, I think um, a lot of our uh, applications relied on a co-producer um, and so that you know uh, that co-producer in each case can 
say, well, if this, then this, you know, can say, well, if you are, if this is what you're saying, you're doing these your delivery dates to your broadcaster, then we can do this. So, so it's that. It's like the ideal scenario, but it has to be, you know, there's a letter from all those people, and they wouldn't give you that letter if they didn't really, weren't really able to deliver that. So, you know, it's it's a lot of um, it's a lot of letters and a lot of uh, optimism, but you know. Everybody knows things can go wrong, but it's it's as you know it's as honest as it can be. One of the things Dustin kept saying to me was, um, you know, about I kept saying, you know, we don't we don't really know. But for example, when we're trying to present our company, you know, as as British people, we t we go well. I, I've only done th I've done this, you know. But she'll <laughs> she'll try and big that up for you, you know. And so it's like there's honesty and honesty, you know. So um, she was trying to say, well, you could say that like this about yourself, and you go, oh, well, that's fine. You know, I don't know. But, um, you know, that's part of it. It's like, um, it's still honest because it's what you intend, you know. So, um, yes, I think we felt like we were saying this is what would happen, but obviously it goes with the kind of, you know, unwritten, but of course everything might fall over Absolutely. if you take this little guy out to the bottom. And it's okay. It's development. Yeah. It's the, the main thing is that you go through that thought process and um, have a plan. Yeah. Or, or several plans. Without that, there's, 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 there's no point. These are the key three bits of the, of the application where you need to put together the strategies. And they just have to be real. It's not about, I think um, experts find it terribly frustrating when people put there some kind of ABC in producing that, you know, that will do very generic, very kind of boring stuff. It has to be about that project. And as you can see, that um, producers find it beneficial to, to go through that process, even if it's just for the sake of the uh, application. Further down in the, in the production um, phase, did you, did you observe kind of maybe a bit of a snowball effect that um, because you were going for this particular funding, you knew that you need to have a wide range of buyers, broadcasters. Would there be that, um, well, one followed suit of another, or, or that the kind of fame of the project is spreading and people feel less and less risk <laughs> in getting involved? Is there a bit of that um, going on? Well, certainly in some charities, I think, you know, there are, there are some groups of broadcasters that like to kind of watch what each what each of the others are doing. So I, I think that's definitely the case. For us, um, I have to say, going back to Cartoon Forum was, was, was absolutely key. And so over the last four years or so, you know, every year, those broadcasters who came up and said, we really love this project, it, you know, it, it hits the nail on the head. It, it, the, it, it's about a chef. It's about food. You know, we have a, a rage and obesity issue, not just here, but all over the world. So... It, there's something about it that you know that they they want to get onto, but at the end of the day, it's an entertainment show. We're not there to create educational programs. We're there to create entertainment shows, you know, with community at the heart, and the rest can come in other formats such as digital and online, which is what we want to do. Um, but I have to say, it does go back to Cartoon Forum. The majority of the the letters that we got actually were from broadcasters who showed a keen interest at that event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's what it's for. So it's Absolutely. good to hear. But not it's just that. I mean, hear. you know, we also had um, we also had letters from the Middle East. You know, two letters from the Middle Absolutely. East, which shows you that you know we developed this project with the you know with the the view that it needed to be international. And we are an international company. That's what we do. We export, and so we needed to know that we had a uh, you know a product that we can export everywhere. Absolutely, absolutely. And on, on Yasha, d sometimes people say um, that the support from media can also help in terms of like being a kind of badge of quality, that if it's been through those all those hoops and made it, there must be something of yeah, value there. Yeah, I definitely agree. So um, before we got the, the, the development money, um, we also applied to Film Cymru for a bit of money because Sarah was born in Wales, so she was eligible. Um, but they said no. Um, we, we received the development money from media and they said, oh, reapply, reapply. And we got, we got a bit of money from them as well. So I definitely think it is a badge of honour. You know, you've kind of set your foundations down well and it's respectable. It's an amazing competition, so well Definitely. done, congratulations, <laughs> that's pretty, pretty incredible that you managed to get there.